Hey bossies! Welcome back to my channel. Today for this video, I'm going to use a sneaker as my inspiration for my nail set. If you're looking for a nail set that grabs your attention with out of this world colors, then this is the nail set for you. So grab your snacks, get your water, and let's get bossy! My dad loves shoes, so of course, for Christmas, he got my sisters and I new pairs of sneakers. The sneakers that I got were the Puma MB3s, the signature sneaker for NBA superstar Lamella Ball. I noticed the toxic colors, the bright pinks, the purple, and the green. The shoe look was originally inspired by an alien underworld concept. It includes claw marks and slime to represent Mellow Ball's otherworldly basketball skills. The colors of these shoes give me a lot of inspiration for my design. For this nail set, the design will include a purple marble look, some pink French tips, green chips from the cuticle, and the iconic one of one split over three nails. For this type of design, I'm going to need a lot of space. So I'll be using the Unigella XL Full Cover Square Tips. For the colors, to match the theme of this design, I'm going to use two Model 1's purples, 1230 and 1045, combined to make a custom shade as my base color. This way, I can get as close as I can to the shade of the shoes. For my accent colors, I will be using model ones white, light purple, neon green, and neon pink. Before I start my designs, I always prep my nail. If you guys want to see an in-depth tutorial on how I prep my nails on the tools I use, leave a like and a comment down below. I start off with a purple base and apply three coats. The reason why I do this is to make sure the pigment is smooth and opaque. I apply a thin layer of blooming gel and pat on a lighter purple and white to make a marble and cure it. For the marble, to avoid my nail being muddy, I make sure to place my white and purple separate so they don't clash into each other. I use my dotting tool to create neon drips and cure. I use my bigger dotting tool to really emphasize it. When it comes to painting drips on nails, I first determine what type of drips I'm doing. For this nail design, I chose more of a gooey look. This helps the nails to match the shoe's slimy style. After curing, I make a pink French tip with my long liner brush. For my liner brushes in this video, I use Model 1's because they have a lot of brushes and they're great for doing nail art.
I always outline the smile on my French tip to clean it up and fill the rest of the French tip in. As you can see in the video, I make sure to top coat all of the nails after I'm done with the design. Later on, I do the same process for the pinky nail. I apply purple base and apply three coats in Cure. I use my long liner brush in green to make a sharp one shape and cure. When painting the one, I tried to take the main parts of the one of one design on the tongue of the shoe and translate it over to the nails. I really made sure to include the sharpness of the numbers and the letters. I outline the one with pink and cure. Thank you. 
To finish off the nail, I top coat and cure. I start with a purple base and put on three coats. I make a long F shape on the nail with neon green polish and cure. I also make an O shape connected to the F shape and cure. I outline both connected shades with pink and emphasize the O. When designing the set, I really wanted to have an artistic take of the shoes. Not only does it include one of my favorite colors, it is also one of the most colorful sets I've created in a while. To finish it off, I top coat and cure. Because the ring and pinky are repeats, I'm going to speed it up.
To be honest, this design was a little bit more advanced for me, but I loved everything about it. The drips, the pink French tips, and the one of one design. If you like this video, like, subscribe, and hit the notification. If you guys want me to create a specific set, then comment down below. Thanks for watching, and remember, stay bossy, stay polished.